It's the most wonderful time of the year. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let me stop. What is up you guys? It's your girl Sandra. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Sandra Said What? Um, okay, so it's the end of the year and every year I make an end of the year video um, talking to you guys about my goals and plans and aspirations for what I would like to accomplish the next year. It's not necessarily um, New Year's resolution because I don't really believe in that, but I do believe in setting goals and what do you call it? Yeah, setting goals of what you want to accomplish and then working towards getting them done and having a plan, formulating a plan. So this year I want, I didn't do it last year because I was actually very sick. So that was the only year I didn't do it. But this year I'm doing it right now. So let's get into it. I'm going to be talking to y'all while I do my hair and makeup. Um, yeah, and then I'm just going to, yeah, let's get into it. So I'm going to, I don't know what look I'm going for yet. I wanted to go to the Renaissance movie, see Beyonce's Renaissance movie. But um, I don't think I'll be able to. I don't like to go to the movies alone. And um, I also try to avoid crowds and, you know, places that are with everything crazy thing going on, people going about and, you know, unaliving people in groups and just, you know, all the crazy stuff. I try to avoid places that are super crowded that have a lot of people. But I did want to see the Renaissance movie. I see that, I'm, let's just say, Beyonce is an amazing performer. She, her work ethic, everyone has talked about it, is unmatched. And I wanted to not, I want to support. And not only that, not that, me, not that Beyonce needs any of my dollars, okay? But because it seems like a cool movie to do. And I actually like the whole Renaissance theme with the silver. Silver is not, like, I don't think I've ever done silver really silver but you know Beyonce had made silver happen she's made fetch happen okay and only Beyonce could do something like that I believe Kim Kardashian was trying to do that right before um Kanye she she and Kanye separated but you know leave it to Beyonce to do what everyone else couldn't do so I have an idea okay what you need to know about me when I'm telling you a story there's gonna be a thousand detours I might even forget what I was saying at, in the first place but we'll get to it okay we're gonna land at some point it's kind of like what's that movie manifest where people go missing in the air and they come back and it's five years later but to them it was you know a regular flight that's it but anywho I have an idea for an outfit in my head that I want to do but I don't want to I, that's why I kind of like it's silver oops sorry Oh, what happened? My bad. Uh, okay, it's like silver, an out a silver outfit that I want to wear. But I lost my point. Hold on, we're gonna get there. Yeah, so that's why I wanted to go see the movie. Like, oh, you have this beautiful silver outfit. Let's go see the movie. But I don't know if I'm gonna make it to the movie. But I am gonna go downtown to see the Christmas lights because I love the holiday season. To me, it's just the best. People are so nice and kind. You know, it's just to me growing up. Especially like Christmas time in, I'm Haitian if you didn't know. Christmas time in Haiti is literally the best thing ever. Like it's diff much more different than the US where of course everything is monetized, but more than just monetized, it's just such a happy time. Like it's, an, I can't even describe it. And growing up, I always remember it like, we always decorated my house and there would be people coming um giving gifts out literally do that you know i guess over here they have toy drives but because the community in haiti is different in that everybody's always outside no one stays inside the house you have if someone's inside all day they have to be sick right so um the lifestyle is very very different than the u.s but um everybody would be outside the kids would be getting gifts and stuff like that so i've always remember that as a very happy joyous times oops sorry I'm trying to talk to you and do this at the same time, so please forgive me, because I know y'all trying to chew me up in the comments, child. <coughs> but, um, yeah, so for me, I absolutely love the holiday season. Not just Christmas, per se, just the whole season. People are so nice, it's so festive and joyous. It's truly, like, something I wouldn't trade for the world. Like, that experience in growing up in Haiti is something I would not trade for a, for a billion dollars. Okay. Let me just put y'all on real quick. This Revlon hair straightener, whatever it is, the best invention ever, right? So as y'all see, I'm trying to comb the wig. It's kind of stuck here. Like, 
the roots, I mean, it, the, this hair is still pretty good, but the roots is hard to kind of get through. This, you watch this. Tell me if I'm lying. like butter okay like if you have to untangle your wig look <laughs> if you have to untangle your wig or detangle your wig whatever um this product is very 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 good because yeah anywho so i don't know like i was saying i do want to kind of do like that renaissance inspired outfit i feel like i need big dangle earrings but i kind of don't want to go buy it i don't want to spend any money on anything anymore i'm gonna make um, that's gonna be one of the points of this video, right? Um, so I don't know what look I'm going for as far as the hair because you know silver kind of washes you out So I didn't want to do blonde hair because you saw how um what Beyonce be looked like, right? Sorry, hold on I might fail. Um, y'all kind of saw like when Beyonce did that, um, it kind of washed her out so she looked a lot more Sorry, let me just put this on My bad. So yeah, silver kind of washes you out, and Beyonce looks very pale, and it will make you pale. So I didn't want to do blonde hair because you know, depending on your hair color, it's going to hit against the color of your skin. My skin looks kind of a bit brighter with um, blonde hair, and then on top of the silver, I feel like it's gonna be too pale for me. So I'm gonna do this hair, but I'm not sure. I like a straight middle part, straight hair, but I also want to do curls because you know it's the holiday. You know, a bit more up do type stuff i don't know y'all y'all know what i'm saying so i'm not sure if i'm gonna actually end up going with that outfit that i have in my mind or i'm going to change it to something else and as far as the hair i don't know what i'm gonna end up doing yet okay but let's get into the goals that's enough you are here for a reason hold on one second let me just straighten this out and then we're gonna get into the goals All right, so the hair is not installed yet. It's not glued down yet. But um, let me grab my phone, because I have my notes, because I will forget. Um, and let's get into it. Hold on. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so the one of my goals for next year is to travel more. Okay, so I know I'm always, I always want to <laughs> set that as a goal, but I have four specific places I want to go to. I'm gonna tell you about two of them because I'm kind of like a show then tell type of person. I don't like to tell people all my plans until after they've been realized. But I've always wanted to go to Crop Over and Barbados. If you don't know Crop Over, it's like a time, like, I don't know, I'm sure you guys, if you guys are not from the Caribbean, you guys have seen like those um, carnival type, you know, parties where people dress up in costumes and stuff like that. Rihanna has been to Crop Over many times in Barbados. And I actually have always wanted to go to that one specifically, but I have never, ever, ever actually made it. So what well, I have it on my plans, I think the one in Barbados is in June or something, right? Carnival in Haiti is the last week of February. And I believe it's the same thing in Brazil too. But in Barbados, I believe Crop Over is in June. So one of my goals is to go there. But also I wanna go to New York Fashion Week. I always say, hold on, I'm just standing here. I don't know what to do, I can't. Um, talking true gum at the same time but i always wanted to go to new york fashion week right but i never ever ever actually make it there because i don't know something always happens and then i forget the date and i didn't plan it it's actually in february so i i, I don't even know if i'm gonna make it to fashion week this this year because of the fact that in new york it's um it's in february and we're already in december so that's one of my goals i have two other trips i plan um, I, if it happens, I will of course make a video um, following um, my travels, detailing my planning if I can, and stuff like that. But those two, I definitely want to go there. Okay, now let let me just start gluing this down. Okay, usually I glue my hair before I shower so I can put the band on and it stays for a while. But actually, 
I just wanted to shower this time before I do it. And then I'm kind of hot, yo. I'm a little bit hot. And I don't want to turn on the fan because it's so loud you guys won't be able to hear me. All right, let me just start doing this and then we'll discuss the next one. Yeah, when I tell you, I am so hot in here. All these lights got me so hot, hotty, hot, hotty. All right, let me do my makeup real quick. And then I really gotta move the band back so I can get as much of my forehead. When I take it off, I can do my forehead, chill. All right, let's move on to the next goal, okay? The next goal I have for next year is to work more. I mean, I work on my business every day, but I'm always working towards improving my business, getting more sales. One of my goals, I don't know if I should say this, because like I said, I'm a show then tell type of person. I don't like to talk my goals out. Not because I'm afraid they're not gonna be realized. It's just, that's just how I am. It's like, oh, I'm thinking about this, then work towards it. Now it's done, I'm gonna tell you about it. But um, okay, so yeah, like I said, I'm always working on my business all the time. I work on my business every day. I absolutely love it. It's one of, I'm very happy to do it. And, um, but I do, because I told y'all, I was kind of sick last year. And um, so my business has kind of been, you know, not performing as well as I would like right now or as well as it was doing right now because I have a video about making $1,000 a day. If you guys want to check it out, it, it gives you tips on running a su successful business. Um, yeah, so because I was sick, it kind of took me off of my business for a while, like a long time, like a year's time where's my foundation okay here it is yeah it took me off of my business for like a year and um i've been working to get back to not only where i was but to get to surpass that so that's my next goal is to be able to come back and speaking of that another goal i have is to realistically i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do it this year next year but why not why not why not work towards it? I'm working, I've been working on a digital course. I do sell some digital courses, but I want to sell a digital course specifically for business. What's taking, it's been taking me a long time because I don't want to be one of those um, people who sell courses that tells you a whole bunch of nothing. You know, it goes on and on and on, but you, at the end you still don't have, like you have the ideas are, oh, you need to this, you need to that, but they don't really work, like walk you through what you need to do to set up your business. I want to have that. That's what I want to offer on my course. I want to offer that not only do I tell you, oh, you have to register your business. I want to be able to include the links. This is where you go to register your business. This is the information you need. This is what you have to include when you um, are registering your business. Um, you know, and then some places you have to publish your business in a newspaper like florida i had to do that for my business to make it legit and then you know and you have to register with divisions of corporation you have to pay your quarterly taxes so i want to give you really a step by step on what you need to do to have a successful business i don't want to just offer a digital course that tells you a bunch of nothing and then you're, you're basically essentially paid all this money for no reason now i'm not one person who believes that everyone can have a business just because you have a formula but because i know you have to like i said i work on my business every day not only do you have to be passionate do you have to not want to go back to work and work for someone anymore you have to be disciplined you have to be the one that tell yourself okay i'm tired but i need to get on the computer because i have to do this i have to do that you have to be able to communicate with people you have to have patience with customers i'm looking for the cover for this one i can't find it so yeah, I don't believe everyone can run a business, but you can be part of a business in that someone else runs it, but you're an investor. And again, I don't believe in partnering with just anyone to invest in your business because some people, most people don't understand businesses. They don't understand how long it takes um, to set up a business, to start seeing sales, to this, to that. Luckily for me, my business within the first year and a half was doing superb i have companies contacting me about my business right and when they see my data because the data speaks for itself right they were blown away like wow wow <laughs> you know so i really want to be able to offer something substantial i don't just want to tell people how to own a business and you need to have a business you need to stop working for people yeah that's true but some people have to work for someone else because th that 
someone else has provided a structure for you to have you know a job and there is nothing wrong with having a job it's not for me I mean I'm not gonna say it's not for me because I do have other skills but having your own successful business gives you flexibility to not be able to not have to put up with other people's crap that's one of my main thing and also it gives you the freedom you need to travel to do what you want to do that's the other port um yeah so that's another thing I want to do next year like I said I don't know if I'll be able to um, sorry uh, I don't know if I'll be able to write it next year I do have some things outlined I started working on it but I got sick but I feel like for me it's something that's going to take a lot of dedication because I want people to get their money's worth I don't want to offer a the key to having a successful product is having a product that actually works right now people will actually buy it and feel like it was worthwhile I want to tell you how to set up your website how to add your products you know how to you know I don't want to give all away all my tips and tricks but pretty much like I said I want to offer something valuable because when you offer a product of value people will always come back to it okay y'all. so I'm not sure what I want to do with my eyes I don't know if I want to go like with a gold you know kind of like glam type of look or if I want to just do my normal typical brown light you know kind of nude type hold on I'm looking for my I'm not sure what I want to do with my eyes I like to keep it simple I think I'm gonna do like brown at the end here and maybe do a little bit of I don't know gold here let's see let's see what we get all right I don't know yeah I think we're getting something well so again my camera I've said this a million times if you watch a few of my videos maybe you've seen this my camera is inverted which means it's upside down so everything I'm looking at is upside down so I hope y'all can see what I'm showing y'all I think I'm just gonna keep it light I'm not gonna do too much because I do want to go live on YouTube today so before I leave the house, I'll probably go live or maybe I'll go live when I come back. I'm not sure yet. Ooh, I also want to go to the mall. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh yeah, I'm going to keep it simple with the eyes and let's do a nice brown. I'll go from there. Yeah, just do a nice little brown and I'm going to do red lips because I'm thinking more likely than not, I am going to go with that silver look so I want something to kind of like give me a little bit of life instead of it just being you know washed out like maybe the red will help uh, make it pop a little bit more so that's what I'm thinking um, okay let me oh I don't know why I put this away because I still need it um, okay so like I said with my eyes I'm not too sure what I want to do I would do maybe a little bit like of a gold on top here and then blend it out I don't want to do too much but you know, I think I did too much. <laughs> Can't help it. Doing too much is what I do. Can't help it. I don't go for too much. Too much. Come find me. All right, let's see. Girl, don't do too much now. Don't do too much now. You're doing way too much, girly. All right, hold on. Oh, no, chill. I'm gonna go ahead and blend that with the brown with the brown and then yeah here we go that's cute though that's kind of cute okay okay not too much but you're doing good yo just so y'all know eyeshadows are my weaknesses like I really <laughs> I don't do too much with the eyeshadow it's been my weakness so I don't do too much with it but yeah, I try to keep it as simple as possible when it comes to the eyeshadow. Right, I'm going to clean up under my eyes here. And go to the next goal for next year. Yeah, I don't know how many times to say it, but this Black Opal True Complexion Color Palette is the GOAT of contour palette, okay? This GOAT right here, look. Look. See? Watch this. I mean, I can't really see. Look look 
Okay, let me do it over here because I can look in the mirror and do it because my camera's upside down. But y'all, yeah, look at this. The GOAT. This is got medium to dark. I always go medium to dark because the other ones are too light for me. And I love the highlight of the medium to dark. Okay, but hold on. Hold on. Look at this. Look at this. Just a little bit. Okay? The GOAT of contour palettes. Like, the absolute GOAT. Like, don't sleep on it. Stop playing with it. All right? I'm almost done with my makeup. And then gonna do the hair I'm still thinking about whether or not I want to curl it because I cannot find any of my curling irons yeah I cannot find any of my hair items most of them so we're gonna see but I do want to do curls though I want to do curls look at this look at it look at it it's blinding you okay don't say I didn't tell you I've been telling y'all for years for years okay Okay, so the next goal I have, okay, by the way, I don't know how to do li um, liner, you know, that the wing liner. So I use this with the black colored eyeshadow, and that's how I get that done. Let me show you how I can do it. I do it. But um, my next goal for next year is actually, right, what I'm doing right now. Talking to y'all, giving y'all content, be more consistent on YouTube, which I've been trying to do. And um, I want to reach 2K subs on YouTube by next year. I know, to me, I feel like I'm selling myself short. Yeah, we're getting it. Um, I feel like I'm selling myself short with that one, but you know, I don't want to be too... Sorry. I don't want to be too overzealous and then, you know, it doesn't work out because, like I said, I'm just getting back on being more consistent on YouTube. I feel like I'm still learning the ropes on how to get my YouTube going. So if you would be so kind, please go ahead and click that subscribe button for me. Just like y'all, I am a consumer, YouTube consumer. I watch other people's content, a lot of amazing people out here. Um, and from Sylvia, Grown Woman Vibe, Love Lies Lace Fronts, and all the other great ones, right? Jamie, that's me. I watch y'all and I love their content. Um, Rodney the voice There's people I'm not forgetting them, but I'm forgetting their channels names. So yeah, and I do forget to subscribe All the time I be thinking I'm subscribed to somebody because their videos always pop up on my feed But then I'm like, oh wait, I'm not subscribing. Please click that sub button for me. I'm trying to grow my YouTube to 2k By the end of next year if I get to 10k, I won't be surprised because I'm working towards that but you know, if I only get to 2K, I'll be okay with that too. That kind of is the perfect segue for the next goal. What are we on number four now? Wait, let me check. Let me check. Let me make sure, okay? One, two, three. Okay, yeah. So this is number four, okay? This is going to be number four or five. Please don't, don't hold me to it. So the next goal I have also is to grow my TikTok to 10K. TikTok for me is a very easy platform. Like I got on TikTok and I was shocked at how fast my page grew and I would, before you know it, right now I believe I'm at seven, almost 7K on TikTok, even though I'm not active. All I have to do is start posting more consistently on TikTok and uh, I'll be at 10K in no time, right? But the killing part, the killing part, Instagram. Yeah, Instagram is absolutely the ops, right? Absolutely the ops. I don't know what it is about the subscribers on Instagram and followers, people on Instagram, but everything is a competition. Like, they'll unfollow you for no reason at all. Like, they'll be following you. I think one of the things Instagram does too is like they force people to follow you, they make people follow you without their consent. Because I noticed they've done that for me. So, when people realize, I don't know this person, so I'm gonna unfollow, which is fine, but. Instagram is such a hard platform to grow for some reason. It's absolutely unnecessary. It doesn't need to be that hard to grow it. I do want my Instagram to grow because the more followers you have, obviously the more people, brands are willing to work with you because they feel like obviously you must be doing something right to um, have follow a good following. So I do want to grow my Instagram to eventually 10K. I'm not even going to push it. I was going to say I want to grow it to 2K, but I realized I'm at mo almost at 2K on Instagram anyway. So I'm thinking 3K, <laughs> a thousand followers in a year on Instagram. It's pushing it. 
but we're gonna push it. The thing about Instagram, once you blow up, you blow up, right? But once you're stagnated, I'm trying to give this time before I take it off. I do have a bit of a headache. I need to get my forehead. But you know, when you're stagnated, it's like you post, you lose followers. You don't post, you lose followers. And it's just really hard to grow on Instagram. It's unnecessarily hard. I don't know why it's so difficult for people to just follow you and stay there, stay put. So that's the next goal I have for next year. Whew, okay. So here's what we're looking like. I'm gonna put on the lashes. And I'm trying to leave this as long as possible. Let's put on all lashes and move on. Yes. It's good. Like, yeah, we'll lay down, we'll lay down. I gotta comb it out and do the port, but we're looking good. We're looking good. We're, we're with lace. Okay, it's giving with lace. Okay, you guys, so um, we have a little bit of a problem. I cannot find my silver coat. And like I told y'all, silver is not something I wear often. I feel like I may have taken the coat and put it in a box with things to get rid of. And it's somewhere in the little patio outside with all the other boxes. So I don't know if I, I really, that was the whole goal. My shoes are silver, white pants, you know, light denim jeans with a silver coat and then a silver, choker i'm gonna put on silver earrings but and then maybe a white bag because i don't think i have any silver bags i have to look but yeah i cannot find the coat and i have the urge to just go over there and start looking like crazy but it's almost six o'clock already and i'm still not done so i'm just gonna try to crop my hair and then we're gonna get dressed and we'll see where we get but in the meantime let's get to the next goal the next goal is still in okay so Y'all, I am turning 21 to this year. Wink, wink, okay? 20, wink, wink, one, okay? So for, it's a milestone birthday. Because it's a milestone birthday, I wanted to um, throw a huge party. Okay, I told y'all I'm Haitian, y'all got that? Okay, cool. And Haitians, we love Haitian music, okay? Um, what I wanted is, I've been having a bit of nostalgia because I didn't want to travel. I've been wanting to travel home, but a lot of things going on. We're not going to get into it right now. So I haven't been able to go back home. So I've been having nostalgia. And I listen to Haitian music from my youth, even before my time, from when I was a child. I listen to a lot of Haitian music. So one of my goals, I, always, I said that when I turned this age, I was going to have a huge party, like old school Haitian music themed party. But I'm currently in Texas. Um, I wanted to go back to Florida because most of my people are in Florida. So I was going to have a nice party. Oh, a little bit of my background, not too much on it, but I used to be part of a group and we did club events. So it's nothing for me to organize like a club event, promote it, all that stuff. But this is not, I don't want this to be like a paid event. So it would be me coughing up the money. But, and I don't mind that because that's what I want. But my only thing is, I don't want to, I don't have any plans to go to Florida this year. So I don't know, I'm thinking maybe I have to postpone it for my next milestone, 20, my next 21st 
birthday. <laughs> okay, wink, wink. Um, like I'm thinking about this as I talk about to y'all. I don't know. I I, I want to have the party. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Okay, I'll keep you updated um, throughout the year. My birthday's on in October. <laughs> okay, but I'm already planning <laughs> ten months ahead. I don't really want to go to Florida. That's the only thing. I do have a place in Florida. Um, so, and then, of course, my family's in Florida. They don't have a problem with me coming there either. But it's just like not thinking about it. I don't know how plausible it is. But it is my milestone birthday, so I need to figure out something big to do. Maybe I'll go to France. One of my goals, okay, that's another one of my goals, is to eventually, sooner than later, move out the United States, okay? This here, these here United States, hold on. This United States is not good for my mental, my mental well-being. I know there's shit that happened. Excuse me. There's that. There are things. I am so sorry, y'all. I forgot to put my mic on. I hope y'all didn't miss any of that. Oh my goodness. I don't know what we're gonna do. If we did miss any of it, I'll just do a little bit of a voiceover over it to cover that part. But um, yeah. Um, being living in the United States as a black person has been the most traumatic experience of my life and I don't wish it on anyone. Any of y'all, things happen everywhere, racism is everywhere, yes, that is very, very, very true. However, comma, it is not in your face, it is not ingrained in the people to where it's a daily battle, right? One of the things I'm grateful for is being born in Haiti. I know y'all wouldn't think it, but I had the most amazing childhood. Grew up on the beach, I ate the most amazing food, I had the most wonderful time. A lot of people are miseducated about Haiti, but we're not gonna get into that, right? But because I cannot go back home, I'm basically a refugee because of the state of my country, my beloved country right now. So I'm forced to come here to the United States of America. Um, so my thing is, I want to move out of the United States because dealing with Americans, white, black, yellow, pink, purple, straight, gay, non-binary, non-conforming, trans, anything is hard. I love y'all. I love you people. I love my audience. I love, I have, oh my gosh, I sound like those um, white people. I have a black friend. No, I do. But on a daily basis, I'm sure you guys have, everyone has a hard time. Oh, I'm getting into the roots. Ouch. Dealing, you know, with they're fellow Americans on a daily basis. And yes, there are things that happen everywhere, but because of all the horrible experiences I've had in the past few years that I do wanna have story time with y'all about, but I'm so traumatized that I can't bring myself to do the story time yet. Because of that, it is terrible. Um, because of that, I wanna move out. And it's not just, when I say American, it's not just people born in America. There are people who come from different countries and adopt, I'm talking about non-black people, and adopt an American belief system towards black people and the way they mistreat us. And as a group of people, I'm sorry, I'm going to lose my mind. But also because Haiti, in Haiti we speak two languages. Um, French is also one of the languages spoken in Haiti. And um, most people in Haiti do speak a little bit of French, like the basics, but it's not like everyday conversation unless you're part of like the elite or something or you really did higher learning. Most people in Haiti don't fluently speak French. Me, I do speak French. I would say moderately. I wouldn't say completely fluent. That's why I kind of want to go to France. I want to polish my French because in Haiti, everything is pretty much done in French, which is something that needs to be changed. But we're not going to get into the politics right now. So for me, I do want to go to learn French and um, polish my French so that, because I have goals and I feel like that's going to help me in the future, okay? So I'm gonna try to curl my hair now, but I don't have my curling iron. I saw a trick on TikTok on how to use a flat iron to do it. So let's try that and see how it goes. All right, y'all, so I saw this trick on TikTok. I just looked at the video again. <laughs> Lord have mercy, let's see if I can get it. Yeah, I can't even see. Girl, you better not burn your hand. Okay, supposedly it's supposed to curl your hair. Let's see. If it works, I'll be glad. If it doesn't, I won't be surprised. Oh, okay, we got a little something, something. 
We got a little shum shum. Okay. It's not. I feel like because the hair is short and that one is big, it's not easy to get like a good piece, but hey, something work. It worked. Let's try again. I'm not gonna take too long with this because no. We go around it. Oh, careful. All right, so I'm just gonna go with a flat, straight buzz down. Just straighten it. I can't get it, so we're just gonna have to straighten it. Where is my? I have my heat protection spray. Probably in the other room, in the other bathroom. But anyway, we're just gonna straighten it, flat, flat iron it, and just move on. I'm gonna take the L on this one. So we did a bootleg straight down middle part. Okay, hopefully they'll stay. So here we are. I feel like I'm kind of crooked. I don't know if it fits the camera on me, but so here we are. We got a middle part straight down. Couldn't get the curls, but I like doing a straight middle part. I feel like that's my look. You know, everybody has like got one look, that like go-to look. This one. Give it supermodel, straight down, face. Here we go. Okay, so we're done here, finally. Oh, let me unplug this. I cut it off too. Um, so we're finally done here for now. Yeah. This microphone just refuses to stay on, okay? So. Like I, I was saying, I don't know if y'all heard, it's gonna go with this for now. Um, let's go get dressed. I'm gonna wear silver earrings. I think I have some silver earrings here from Unique, Uniquely Irregular. Let me see. Oh, 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 hold on, actually. Yeah, I got some, no, this is gold. Let me go get some silver earrings. But I'm thinking about adding a little pizzazz, right, to the hair. So hold on, hold on, hold on, not too fast. Um, I'm not sure where to put it. Here? How y'all think that look? I don't really like it there. Hold on. Let's take our time to get this right. Do we want it over, like, do we want the hair out of the face or what? What y'all think? Oh, too much. By the time y'all see this video, it's probably gonna be done. But I also found, come on camera, focus. These two, I'm thinking maybe, but let's see. Do y'all like the the thing on the hair? Just give it a little pizzazz. Should I even add this one? Let me see. Add two. You know, the girlies said to take one off, but I add one extra. Okay, this is cute now. Y'all like? All right, let's get dressed, let's get dressed. Um, okay, so let me finish that thought on me, my party. So as of right now, I don't know what I wanna do for the party because I don't really want to go to Florida this year. I mean, next year, I guess, technically. But um, I guess i got to come up with something to do. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All right, we'll figure it out. Um, let's go get dressed. Oh, y'all told me to get this Cocoa Radiant. Hold on. Hold on. Y'all know I be buying stuff online. Oh, that brings me to my next resolution. Or my next goal for next year, right? Hold on. Give me a second. This Vaseline Cocoa. Vaseline Cocoa Intensive Care Cocoa Radiant. So it's a body oil. Usually, 
What I like to do is, whatever lotion I'm using, get some baby oil, mix it together, and put it on, put a little bit of water, but this is very thick, it smells amazing. You guys said to get it, I got it, I like it. Um, add a little bit of oil, water to it, because it's very, very thick. And then we go ahead on, add it to the bodies. I'm gonna do my legs. I'm, okay. How are we looking? Very good. I think we look good, right? Y'all y'all like the look? Let me know how y'all liking this look on me. But I I really like it though. I hope the hair stays straight and doesn't go back to being a bit wavy. Okay, so here we go. Let me do my feet and then let's get dressed. Okay, guys, so this is the top and pants. Um, I couldn't find the jacket, so I'm gonna replace it with a different one, but I did find bag, kinda. Okay, so let me show you the shoes. I've worn these shoes before, hold on. These are our shoes. more is more so let's go for more to the mall I'm back home now um so I wanted to give you guys my last goal for the year and it's very simple and I hope I can stick to it well it's not simple it's actually difficult because we live in a predominantly uh, we live in a capitalist society country whatever so but my goal is to not buy another item of clothing for a year because as far as I'm concerned all of the stuff we have is really not necessary and all of the things that we hoard 
and waste money on it's not waste money on but i feel like we're always the style is always changing and evolving i feel like right now i have you know those key pieces that i need to put together an outfit if need be so i don't have to go out of my way to buy there are certain things that i actually want but i just want to challenge myself to not buy anything at all sorry my camera um my microphone i want to challenge myself to not buy anything at all for the new year as far as clothing is concerned but anyway you guys you know I, i'm really i'm really 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 tired of the overconsumption. i'm tired of the bye 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 in your face um we don't need we don't need all of it right i can understand why we get it it's fun i like to play with clothing and fashion and all of that but for myself i want to challenge myself not to buy anything not from the thrift shop not from the new store not from anything so that is my last goal for the year, for the new year, 2024. I thank you so much for being here with me, getting ready, ready with me. I do have clothes on, so here's my top. I do have clothes on. Um, yeah, so thank you so much. You can help me out with one of my goals, which is growing my YouTube, so go ahead and subscribe. Press that like button to get me into the algorithm so other people can find my videos. Again, thank you for getting ready with me and spending the day with me. <laughs> now it's like the middle of the night. I'm about to go on YouTube Live, so be sure to check out my other videos, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.